Hey there, Joey Donuts coming at you again. Uh, I'm going to go over my short but pretty cool uh, reverse retro collection that I've gotten so far. Um, I only have 11 of them out of 31, so a third of them, not too bad, but I definitely plan on getting some more in the future. There are some I probably will not get, just I don't know, I don't like them, so, but anyway, without further ado, and thank you for all the new subscribers, um, Neil, Neil's a buddy, <laughs> name dropping my channel like that, so now I gotta, I feel like I gotta get, need a kick in the butt to create more videos, so we'll see how this goes, and hopefully I can entertain some of you guys, anyway, so, first off, as you can see from the front, the Mighty Wing jersey from Anaheim. Uh, this was so ugly, I had to have it. Um, this originally was from 1995. And I'll throw up a, a picture of the original jersey over my left shoulder here. Um, yeah, it's the only jersey in the entire Reverse Retro collection that is... I believe so anyway, that is completely screen printed. It's not a, it's not a Sonon logo. It's nothing. It's just a, uh, okay, I can pick that up. It's all on the fabric. I mean, this thing is hideous, which is why I had to have it. But yeah, they got the, I love these shoulder patches though. That logo never gets old. But yeah, there's Anaheim. Next up, yeah, you know, it's the Space Coyote, or the Peyote, whatever you want to call it. Um, the Arizona Coyotes reverse retro they came out with. So glad they did, and so glad they decided to go with this purple color scheme on it. Um, again, I'll throw a picture of the, the original above me. This is from 1998, and I do have this one, name and numbered. Ekman Larson, El Capitan. Um, yeah, not much to say other than this thing is a, again, ugly as sin, but it's one of the most beautiful jerseys out there, and the uniform, the uniform is completely sexy, <laughs> so yeah, definitely one of my favorites, and I might go through, and I know everybody has done their rankings like months ago when this first came out, I haven't done it yet, I may throw together a a reverse retro ranking of all 31 if you want me to do that so let me know uh, next up my favorite team as you can clearly see and by my hat the Boston Bruins this one originates out of the 1980s this is actually they were wearing this before I was even born I was born in 86 these were in 1980 so yeah and you can't forget to mention what people like to call the meth bear and for good reason I mean look at that look at that face it's one of my favorites and yes you saw it's a Brad Marchand because I had to have at least one Marchand jersey in my collection right but this thing I when this first came out I wasn't sold on it um, I have quite a few Boston jerseys, but this thing, at first glance, I was like, eh, it's all right, but now that I have it, and I've worn it a few times, and all that jazz, I'm actually becoming quite a fan of this, and I hope, I hope they, last I heard, they were thinking about moving to this as their current home in a way, but we'll see, so it's just a rumor, obviously, but I would not be opposed. Next up, the Buffalo Sabres Reverse Retro from 2000. And I distinctly remember watching them wear this thing, except in the red version, which I'll show. Um, this thing was actually one of my... F when they first re revealed the Reverse Retros, this thing was high on my priority list. Um, and obviously I got Jack Eichel on it. At the date I'm recording this, he's still a Buffalo Saber. We'll see 
come next season what happens. All the controversy surrounding him right now, but <laughs> that's besides the point. Either way, uh, this thing is gorgeous. And the only thing I wish was... Let me angle it a little better for you guys. I wish that was... That was going to be on the front crest. And this might be on the shoulder. But they decided with the cross swords. Whatever. I'm happy with it. Uh, the buffalo in here. A lot of people didn't like this part. And it's also just screen printed. Unlike the Capitals one. That's actually sewn on. Like a patch. But I don't mind it. It doesn't bother me. Um, and I... I love the fact that they went with the current color scheme, but with this. That's what makes this pop. If they had continued with the original red and black, it would have been alright, but... I don't know, this just this is a lot cooler looking, if you ask me. But what do I know? <laughs> Next up. <laughs> Good old Blasty from the Calgary Flames. In the year 1998, in the late 90s era. And I distinctly remember watching... Jerome Ginla wear this famously. Um, not this, but the original. Uh, the only things they changed on here were the shoulder patches. They used to be red originally for the C. And I'm glad they kind of switched to white because I like I think that pops better. What I don't like is that they changed the sleeve. At the end of the sleeve here, it used to be red and just changed it to black. So now it's just, I don't know. And they just, this used to be red too, I believe. I'll put the picture up, but yeah, I had to have it because it's a blasty jersey. I, I've always wanted one. I never got the original. I'm sure I still could, but yeah, why not? I got this instead. But this thing is beautiful, it? especially the. I mean, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there's quite a level, quite a layer of detail on there. One of my favorites. Next up, the Colorado Nordiques. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the Quebec Avalanche. The Colorado Quebec Avalanche Nordiques. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, Colorado Avalanche Reverse Retro from 1979 when they were originally the Quebec Nordiques. And they essentially used the same setup. As the Nordiques back then, except they did change the color palette to the current Avalanche colors, which was effing brilliant, if you ask me. Um, when this first came out, I was all about it. I wanted this so bad. Probably like my top three that I wanted to get was this one. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of what to say. Once they did come out and I was able to grab it like for, right off the bat... And I've had it for a little while. It's still amazing. But the fact that it's mostly white, I don't know. It's kind of lost its charm a little bit. And I kind of wish I got it name and numbered. I mean, I could still get it sent out and stuff. But the name and number really makes it pop. If I did get this sent out, it would definitely be McKinnon because he's probably one of my favorite players. The Avalanche as a team is my second favorite team behind Boston. They have been since the Patrick Waugh days. Um, so, yeah, I'm all right with this now. A uh, little bummed they didn't go with the dark color, but it's okay. Still fabulous. Next up, as you can see, the most recent purchase I had from the, I don't know if it's a Florida team site. Or a store down in Sunrise, Florida. But it came from Sunrise, so it must have been somewhere around the team store. Uh, the Florida Panthers Reverse Retro from 1996. This baby is beautiful. Um, this is one of the ones that I unfortunately missed out on when they first got out. I probably ordered five or six of these things. This was not one of them originally, and I was kicking myself. Because the more I saw people unbox it, the more I saw it in the hands of my friends and stuff. I'm like, nah, man, I, I wanted this so bad. So I went on to Dick's Sporting Goods of all places probably a couple weeks ago, just looking around. They had this available in my size, which I have not been able to find in a few months. 
So I grabbed it. Uh, it is a Jonathan Huberdeau reverse retro. The only problem is I knew it was going to be factory installed, so it's not hand stitched or anything. It's that uh, I can see there's wrinkles in the numbers and stuff, but it's still nice. I'd still rather have this than nothing at all. So, and this is probably one of my favorite patches, shoulder patches of the entire league. So, and I do have the original in my closet, and I'm gonna do a thinking about doing a, an entire jersey collection video update. Last one I did was probably 2019, I want to say, and I've gotten a few jerseys since then. So, I'm thinking about doing that, and I'll include all those non Adidas jerseys I have. I have CCM Coho, uh, Starter, Pro Player, all those. So, I'm thinking about doing that too at some point. Next up, one of my favorites, and a lot of people's favorites, the LA Kings from the 89 era. Uh, this thing is gorgeous because of two reasons. A, I mean, why can't they go to this full-time? Go L.A. Go to the purple and yellow full-time, please. Second thing, it's actually a mixture of two kind of eras for L.A. Um, actually, I don't have... I do have this one which is their, one of their alternates for this year. So they go off this this style, but then they also merged it with LA Lakers colors and the original jerseys they had back, I want to say the 70s. Was it the 70s they had the purple crown, purple and yellow crown? Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm not sure on my dates, but yeah, they did merge these two into one jersey, which was epic. Um, but yeah. Captain, you already know who it is, Anze Kopitar, and what's different is they have the numbers on the elbows for this jersey, which is a little different, but yeah, this is also amazing, and I'm so glad I was able to get this because I can't find this anywhere except for eBay for like lots of money. Next up, the Tampa Bay Lightning. Reverse retro from the 2004 era from when they won the cup. Or their first cup, I should say. Um, this is the original Tampa Bay look that I remember watching as a kid growing up. Um, Marty St. Louis, Le Cavalier. Uh, I'm trying to think of the... Who's the goalie? Hobby, Hobby Boulin. The Wall. Uh, yeah. Good team back then. <laughs> um, yeah. This thing is beautiful. And this is another one that... I missed out on when they first were released, and I waited a few months, and actually, this came from the, I want to say this came from Tampa Bay. This might have been a team store find too. So Florida's doing doing all right selling their jerseys from the team store, rather than all the other places. Um, yeah, it, it is blank, but I do like the, the black trim on the bottom of it too, kind of makes it. The, and the weird armpit striping. I still... It means something. I don't remember what it is. But if you remember, let me know. That weird color. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Next up, the Vancouver Canucks Reverse Retro from 2001. And I'll post a picture of the original, which was red and blue. Purple, red, yeah, red and blue, which gradient. This one's a gradient of blue and green with their current colors. Um, this thing is gorgeous, and I'm so glad that it's just this logo and not the Vancouver word mark. A lot of people hate the word mark. I, was, I wouldn't say I hated it, but it wasn't one of my favorites. I wish, no, it's not about it. Like, yeah, we know you're for Vancouver. You don't have to have it around. Um, but yeah, this thing is gorgeous. This is one of the ones that... It's a lot better looking in person than it is on TV and stuff. Uh, and their uniforms look amazing on TV as well. And this is my Thatcher Demko, which I got from Cool Hockey. Um, he is an up-and-coming goaltender for their organization. And he actually played in Massachusetts, I think. One of the Boston college teams. University? College? One of those. Um, quickly becoming one of my favorite goalies. I, as a previous goalie... 
in my four, in my younger years, I have an attachment to goalies, so I keep an eye on all of them around the league. And last but not least, the Vegas Golden Knights Reverse Retro from 1995. Now, Vegas did not have an NHL team in 95, but they did have a semi-pro league, uh, semi-pro team during that time. And I'll throw a picture up of the Las Vegas Thunder, I want to say the team name was. Um, similar design, they just used the Vegas colors. And their alternates in front, main crest is on the shoulder. Um, a lot of people, <clears throat> this one's gotten mixed reviews. Me, I like it. I wouldn't say it's my favorite. Um, I mainly got it because I wanted to keep my, <laughs> I don't want to say streak, but my, uh, my collection of Vegas maxed out. So when I was able to get this one, which is, I think they're still available, which is kind of surprising considering how popular they are, but I can see why people don't like them. But I got this because it, I have I have the home away and the alternate for Vegas right now. So this is the only one I didn't have. So now I can say I have every single Vegas jersey that they've had in their existence until they come out with five more next year. <laughs> but yeah. Not too bad. I don't mind it. I think it looks better on the ice, too. Uh, yeah. So that's my reverse retro collection so far. Like I said, I'm going to probably be ordering more through the next few months. Ones I might get, ones I didn't, ones I said I wouldn't get, but I'll probably end up getting anyway. I'm looking at the Dallas, <laughs> the Dallas Stars one. I know that gets hate, but it's so awful that I kind of want it in my collection. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll pump out some more videos here with Jersey content and maybe some hockey content. We'll see. We'll see how the day goes. All right. Thanks guys. For, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Peace.